Polo. Transgenderism has been a controversial topic for many years. Despite massive amounts of bigotry, these people fought hard to live the way that they felt that they were born. They stood up to the hate and helped others to further their cause by showing that bullying and name calling shouldn't stop someone from living the way that they want. All of this has culminated with new laws to reclassify the gender of people who desperately need to be validated as who they really are. It's 2015 now and transgenderism is mainstream with high profile people stepping out of the shadows and into the limelight showing everyone that acceptance is the key to progressing as a society. No longer facing a struggle and now being praised and commended for their bravery, society is now embracing this new gender fluid idea and promoting it openly in a similar fashion to the women's rights struggle and the abolishment of slavery. It's time to extend the helping hand of progressiveness to a new group of people who are experiencing levels of bigotry and hatred akin to the gays 20 years ago. These are transracial people. Race and gender are only an idea, a social construct meant to confine and classify people into groups that shouldn't have boundaries. If a man can defy his own DNA and proudly say that just because he has an X and a Y chromosome, it shouldn't stop him from living life as a woman, then any person should be able to live as the race that they most identify with. Suppressing the emotional demands of a person will just lead to fighting harder and suffering from great amounts of depression and high suicide rates. It's time to offer the helping hand that gave gays and transgender their rights and legitimize transracial people. They are just as normal as anyone else, stuck in a body color they never asked for and yearning to be included in a group that will bring them feelings of great acceptance. People unhappy with their natural born race will go to great lengths to alter their appearance to try to appear as they want. Instead of hiding these medical procedures, why not make it a real process that doesn't have to be scrutinized by the same CIS racist people who oppressed the LGBT movement for decades? Let these people live how they feel. Let them be free. Support transracial rights now, so no longer will they be forced to live in a shadow that the evil mechanizations of society has shone so brightly upon.